What's up, people? It's Nick Ops here, back with another video. And this is gonna be my B tier list. Now, this video is not gonna be as informative as my other videos, because honestly, I never really touched the terrible characters. I don't, you know, I don't like setting myself up for failure. I'm not saying these characters are terrible, but they're second to worst in the game. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain their strengths and their weaknesses. And with the other characters, I could show everybody exactly what it did. But with these characters, I'm going to be more explaining. Now, Cheetah, Cheetah is the top of B tier because I actually think Cheetah is a good character. I think she's kind of downplayed, but she has one obvious weakness is she gets zoned out. People think she doesn't get zoned out because of that jump right there. There's so many ways to stop that jump. You can back three it, meter run back three it. Um, a lot of people have projectiles to stop it. It doesn't completely, you know, help her deal with zoning, but it, it is something at least. So you can't really complain about it that much. But, and another thing, her damage is crazy. Like, she gets really good damage off of almost nothing. But her crazy damage comes off a trait. But the bad thing about her trait is unlike Superman's or Black Adam's, she doesn't have no significant way to activate it. So let me show you. Like, Superman, he could do like something like that and then do that and activate trait and keep comboing. She can't because her recovery is so bad on the trait. But when she does pop this thing, she gets some dumb damage. Like, Look at that. I don't even know combos with her. She gets some really dumb damage. And so yeah, that's basically, so let's basically cover up Cheetah real quick. She is good when she, once she's in your face, like mixing you up and stuff, getting her grabs, her command grabs, all that stuff. But you're gonna notice with <clears throat> the list, people who suffer against zoning, they just can't be top tier or even decent because this is a zoning heavy game. So yeah, that basically covers Cheetah. Now, let's go on to Wonder Woman. Okay, next character we have is Wonder Woman. Now, Wonder Woman is a good character. She um, she basically just has the same problems as Cheetah, so I'm not gonna drag Wonder Woman out too long. She, she's good when she gets in, but like, she gets zoned out. Not as bad as Cheetah, because she can contest right here. But the reason she's not as good as Cheetah is, in my opinion, is because her trait is random. Like, you're gonna get random things when you do that trait. While most people might not think that's a big deal, I think it's a big deal, because you basically just, like, took her trait away. Like, it's random, so there's no reason to ever be like, okay, I need to use this right now. So, yeah, so quick recap on Wonder Woman. She's a good character when she gets in. She can contest her zoning around this range, unlike Cheetah, but she doesn't have like the crazy mix-ups like Cheetah wants um, Cheetah gets in. That's why she's not as good as Cheetah in my opinion. So yeah, that covers Wonder Woman. On to the next character. Now next we have King Kong, I mean uh, Gorilla Grodd. Gorilla Grodd is a good character, but he is the hardest character to play in the game. No competition. His cancels are really hard to do. His reset combos are, they take execution. Um, and on top of that, he's not even good enough to where, um, if you learn all of that, he'll even be, you know, able to fight the top tiers because he's just not good enough. He, um, he has strength, his damage, his mobility kinda, and his trade is good, but his, you know, his, the execution required to play him just makes him not even worth talking about that much, honestly. So, yeah. Now, let's get on to Captain Cold. Now, Captain Cold is a character that everybody thought was going to be dumb because when the trailer came out for him, he just had like a lot of dumb looking stuff that he could do. Like um, that overhead full screen, this wall right here, 
it looked stupid. It looked like, God dang, this character is gonna be a problem. But um, he turned it out not to be a problem. He has the weaknesses of mainly everybody who's B tier in this game. He's good once he gets in, but he gets zoned out hard. And his mobility is really lackluster. But um, his range and mobility is really lackluster. And he can't like compete with the top tiers at all because he, you can't have bad range, bad mobility, and freaking can't deal with zoning that well. He can't, it's not as bad as um, the characters I listed earlier because he does have a projectile but he still gets zoned out because it's a high and he oh but he's freaking a tier definitely once he gets you to the corner once he gets you to the corner he can freaking go to work on you but that's if he gets you to the corner and he's also good if he gets his trait charge and if he conditions you and there's a lot of ifs when it comes to captain cold so yeah, that basically covers Captain Cold. Quick recap. He's good once he gets in, just like the other characters, but the problem is getting in and that range and mobility just, ugh, it hurts him. So yeah, that basically covers my B tier list. Um, I also think Brainiac is somewhere in this tier, but I can't really discuss Brainiac because I don't have him. So yeah. If you like this tier list, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we got the worst characters in the game coming up next. Nick Ops out.